I'll play anytime. I pretty much will buy any Hat Hat game mm. made. Never. Yeah. Um, until I run into one that I don't like, which has yet to happen. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's roll off to see who gets the first player token to start with. Uh, then we'll read the scenario. You guys can pick your characters if you haven't already, and then we'll get ready to play. <sighs> Seven. <laughs> We're going to go incrementally up by three. Or go backwards or in time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. You get the dagger. Yay. You can have a smaller cardboard one if you want, um. but... <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Like, maybe we should use the cardboard one for this one because it's flatter. Do I have it? Anyway, I'm pretty sure I still do. Here's the legit one that it comes with. But if you get the broken token insert, by the way, if you have Dead of Winter, the broken token insert is amazing. It's not cheap. None of their inserts are cheap. They're laser cut wooden inserts. They're not going to be cheap, but they pretty much put themselves together. They're super great. Um, and they come with fun little things like first player tokens. That section doesn't look too bad. It looks like it's stabbed into like a piece of meat. <laughs> oh my god, that works. <laughs> I want to let you know that your soldier was hiding among the zombies. Oh boy. He wasn't in the soldier, like the survivor pile. He was hiding with the zombies. That's his job. <laughs> he needs to go in there and kill them. It's a clue. It is not a clue. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even sure if he'll, it's a clue. He'll soon, he'll soon be joining them. I probably should look and at what my thing is. Okay. Oh, you're going to take her? Yeah. <laughs> and, Do you have uh, Mr. Paws? No, he, I don't think she's got the drunk. No. <laughs> she's drunk, too. Yeah. Not, you don't have the yeah, drunk. She's the weirder. The one with the knife in her hand? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that reminds me of So We Get In. I beat mm -hmm. that game with a housekeeper named Sarah. <laughs> and she killed the... Sorry, spoiler, but this game is ancient. And she killed the three-headed dragon thing at the end with a kitchen knife. Yeah. It was the best thing ever. It was the most epic thing. I was so happy all day about that. I went to work from that, because I worked at a video store. Yeah. Returned the game, and I was just like, this is so great. I'm in such a good mood today. Yeah. <laughs> just beat a boss with a housekeeper. <laughs> with my name. Yeah. <laughs> and mm -hmm. a kitchen knife. I had other more powerful people there. I mean, they helped, but it was just, she had the kill shot. It was so good. So what's the actual um, victory prediction? Victory so here's, I'm going to read what we have to do, but I'm also going to read the Flavia text. Um, let me find the right one. Oh, Starfire. Okay. So you might think that it is October 8th, but you would be wrong. It is December 16th. Here. Mm. Getting close to Christmas. Yeah. No, well, that's why you have this spot. <laughs> it fits perfectly. Okay. This morning I stood on the watchtower. I still can't believe the thing hasn't collapsed. And looked out at the town. I pretended I couldn't see the dead that staggered through the streets, and it seemed lovely to me. Fog was rising from the ground, and ghost light wisps, and the crisp air that filled my lungs felt magnificent. I don't want to leave this place. Winter will be hard, but I'm already dreaming of what spring will bring. Maybe I'm a fool to find inspiration in the season where the earth seems to wither and die, but it always felt like starting over to me. Now is the time to hunker down and gather all the food we can. Now is when we build big walls our enemies cannot overcome. The snow shall melt and everything that's green will flourish and bloom again, and when it does, spring shall find us not just alive, but thriving. So the, the scenario is called Stockpile. So we're going to build a wall and make the zombies pay for it? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, or, it'll just, or it'll be like um, the the geeks, uh, Darkness Rising, where they just fill oh, yes. a wall of dead bards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so here's we've already got the setup. So morale starts at six, and uh, we have six turns to do this. We must add eighteen zombies to the colony. Wow, Ooh, that's a lot of zombies. <laughs> yeah. So do you remember how they place? Mm-hmm. Yep, he's doing it. So it's probably going to be... It goes to number of players, correct? Uh, no, it just yeah. goes all the way up to six, okay. and then you start over again at one. Yeah. Oh, that's right. When they come back in, it only goes up to the number Yeah, it's based players. on how many of your people are in so the colony. So literally, it fills the whole colony. For the most... Does it? There's six spaces. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, three per, so 18. Oh, my God. That's a nightmare. So literally, the colony so you have starts to clear, full. Yeah, you have to clear up the colony. Yep. The first turn's going to be pretty busy. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, if I roll good enough, this guy will take out a lot of it. She can do a few. She's got two for combat, so I think mm. he doesn't have to roll an exposure die, though. Well, we'll talk about our special powers once we once we pick all of our characters and get set up. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is messy. Okay, so that's fun. So that so here's the victory condition, yeah. <laughs> if we can survive that. Um, there must be at least two food tokens in the food supply for each non-exiled player. So even though we don't necessarily have to have that all the time in there because they're not in the colony, we have to make sure by the end of the game that it's like that. Um, also, players will also will have to have placed two medicine cards 
two tool cards and two gasoline cards underneath this objective. Now you can do it just like you play any other cards, as many as you want per turn. You cannot use starting cards. They have to be found. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so that's fun. That's going to be hard. Whoops. Mm. It can be. It depends. It, can be. it depends on how much, because some of the crises we may interest, have to fail. Because I can look at five cards when I go anywhere searching. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. So the food option, the food requirement is two it's, per person? Yeah, per yep. person. And people will be eating that food while we play. Right. Oh, we might as well put those of us who already have our characters in the brain. More people in the colony. Oh, I think they must have that. I think her stuff All is right. kind of... Oh, she. they can both... He as, can only do his stuff. In as much as I feel like colony. this is... So what do you want? Do you want the ninja-dog combo from Final Fantasy VI? <laughs> or do you want the modern woodsman and the Cook of Doom? The Cook of Doom? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you want to play. Like dog. The dog I love fun. the dog. Because you can give him a gun. He could be a dog no. with a sniper rifle. It's no, no, the no. best part of this game. No, no. <laughs> the dog with the lighter and the blowtorch. The, 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 yeah. like, like Gasoline. Having him fly out with fire breath tub. dog yep. is freaking yeah. amazing. <laughs> Everything um, about that dog is one of my favorite characters. Although, Although if, if, if I get rid of them, they, they can come back, right? They're yes. still yeah, we're going to shuffle them in here and you can get them. You can find them through crossroads or through using the actual I think the end result is that these are going to be more useful. Okay. Yeah. Poor shuffle these up. Poor I know. I, I, I've ne I have never once given up Sparky when I played this game. <laughs> really? Up until now. Like, but I We've feel got two like crossroad decks. So you guys don't have to reach for okay. the stars to be able to I get feel the like, cards. I feel like having a really useful guy that doesn't consume food <laughs> and, um, and a person who's always producing food will help us in this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Yes. Um, <clears throat> that is a good point. I agree with that sentiment. Um, all right. So the first thing you're going to do before we start reading, oops, before we start reading our. Uh, our powers to, to the audience and whatnot. So you're going to want to pick who your leader is, who's going to go over here on your left, and then your follower goes down here. Anybody who has following her. I thought following. your leader is already, regardless, is the highest number. No. You, well, yeah, but you put them. That's what I meant. Like, sorry, you don't get to choose. Say, yeah, sorry. You, 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 whoever the highest number yeah. is is the leader. Yeah, you're, you're just, just to clarify. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, right. that's why you choose the, the first person players, too. I did that yeah. wrong. But that's so fine. whoever has the... We can just go with what we did, though. Yeah, we'll go with, yeah, we'll go with the role. But technically, it's supposed to be the one with the most influence that goes first. Um, it it that. is one player off, because it would be you. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Um, I like, like doing my random roles. I'm always the one with the glare. <laughs> you do have, like, the, No, usually Aaron is, but I moved the light so that yeah. it goes across, and the other light kind of beams it down in. Um, but, yeah, it's you know why? It's because they're laminated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's right under the lamp. It is. It's like a solar flare. <coughs> <laughs> She's got like like an open Bible on her card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So real quick, we'll start yeah. with Sue and go around to say who your characters are and what their abilities are. <clears throat> okay. Uh, my leader is Jenny Clark. She's a waitress, and her ability is anywhere once per round when perform performing a search, I can m look at three additional cards. Nice. Which is a total of five, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, well, uh, three additional cards, it's four, because you look at one yeah. card at a time. There's a book, there's books and stuff that let you look at an extra one. Yeah. That would make it to go five. Yeah. It's normally just, you get one. You do choice. one at a time, uh, unless you make noise. If you make noise, you pull additional yes. cards for free. Yeah, I'm used, to, I think it's just, last time I'm used to picking up two because I had an ability or something. Yeah, you, you had, had the librarian or thing. something. Yeah. 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 Anyway, um, Roberta Plum is the mall Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Anywhere at the beginning of my turn, if I have one or more jump cards in my hand, I may initiate a gift exchange with another player. Give the chosen player a jump card from my hand, and they place it into theirs. The chosen player must unequip an item from a survivor they control and immediately equip it to progress upon. Well, it's right by Sue's foot. So basically, Mr. Claus giveth and Mrs. Claus taketh away? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mr. Claus doesn't giveth anything. No. Uh, no, no I'm silent him but before he gets But she has really good combat. Yeah. If you kick him out, he gets stuff. <laughs> Morale goes up. Yes. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, okay, so apparently, Beth that. voted for dog, but it was too late. No, sorry, Beth. <laughs> nope. Not fast enough. We like. I'd rather have survivability than combat. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Ian? Uh, all right. So I have Kodiak Colby, Woodsman. Oh, that guy's um, awesome. Who who might be the embodiment of Plat Hat Games, I'm not sure. Pretty much. Um, pretty much. And he has Colby any, works at so. Plat Hat Games. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, well, and he's wearing plaid and a hat. So it's true. It's <laughs> um, so 
Um, Coley <laughs> has the power of... He, Kodiak does not count towards the total number of survivors when determining uh, how much food the colony needs or when placing zombies. Um, when performing a search with Kodiak, you do not use noise tokens. Colby Douch or you is the person producer of the game. Nice. <laughs> well produced, Col- Colby. Very well. Um, <laughs> and then I also have Loretta Clay, the cook of doom. Um, of doom. She looks what, like Helen what, Mirren. Look, she does look She's like Helen, Helen Mirren. She, she, would be, she would be played by Helen Mirren in Dead of Winter, the movie. <laughs> um, and for those who do not know, Fernanda Suarez is the artist in this game, and she is amazing. She's fantastic. Um, yeah. She did Ashes Rise of the Phoenix Born 2, and she needs to do more board games, please. People who are developing mm. board games, I don't care what she charges. Just tire her. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> She's just good. She has a colony power. I, I don't remember. I don't means that you can only use it while you're in the... Oh, four means you have to use... You have to spend a die. Oh, oh that's right. Or higher. Oh, four, higher. Okay. Some will require you to, um, to do dice. So once per round, she has the ability to add two food tokens to the food supply by using it. Nice. Four. That's awesome. Yeah. What you got? So I have James Myers. He is a physician... Uh, uh, pharmacist. Oh, yeah. Once per once per round, I may re-roll one or more of my unused dies, but I must keep the second result. So you don't have to spend food to do it. You can risk and, getting a lower roll, yeah. but... <laughs> and I have Rod Miller, the truck driver. I do not roll exposure when moving to new locations. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> that means we can keep our gasoline so we can put it onto that stupid card someday when we find gasoline that's not starter gasoline. Uh, I have... Oh, let me get these out of the way. I, I did not have gasoline. <laughs> me neither. Do I have any? I have, I have a little bit. I just have food and junk. <laughs> I got food and gas and some junk. Have... I'm not sure if we're allowed to say. Are we allowed to say? We're allowed to say. Yeah, yeah, we just it don't doesn't mean it. Yeah, you don't have to speak truthful. <laughs> I was like, well, because some games you're yeah. not supposed to. We're like, your hidden cards that like you're supposed to be yeah. super Yes, we're all friends. Like, <laughs> unless one of us is a traitor. <laughs> <laughs> Even a traitor can be friends it's, with you, though, because yeah, it's, it's in their own best interest to not be enemies. It depends it. on how their traitor, their, their exactly. betrayal card works. Yep. I have Thomas Hart, the soldier. Uh, his he has a colony ability. <coughs> um, I have to spend a die five plus, um, which is kind of painful because his combat is one. Um, but once per round, I can kill two zombies in the colony, and I don't roll for exposure. I just have nice. to make sure I roll decent dice to be able to pull that off. Mm-hmm. Um, and but then I can also shoot and roll for exposure to get yeah. the other guys with a very low combat if I need to. Uh, and then I have Ashley Ross, who's a construction worker. Um, and I can do this anywhere. Once per round, I can perform a barricade action without using an action die. I should have said that. All of my abilities are anywhere. Nice. I do not have to be in the colony to use <laughs> any of my abilities. So before we roll our dice, let's reveal the first crisis. Waste not. We must have uh, food in this here crisis contributions mm-hmm. uh, equal to the number of non exiled players. So for food... Uh, if we fail, take all food cards that were removed from the game and place them into the waste pile. Lose one round. This one we could probably afford to fail. Possibly. This turn. Um, it's up to us yeah. whether we want to do that or not. But <clears throat> we almost want to because some of us are going to have to stay in the colony for a while, so we're going to need that food yep. to eat. Um, and I believe we've done stockpile before. Yep. We ran out of stuff because we put too much well, into the crisis. We ran, <laughs> we ran out of tools because we used the junk not realizing yeah. there's a finite amount of tools. Yep. But you can't use the junk in here, though. Oh yeah, you can't. No, yeah. no, no. We can't use starter junk. There is yeah. normal junk oh, in, the, in the search files. Um, if we happen to add two additional food cards, we gain morale for preventing the crisis. Otherwise, we just prevent the crisis and nothing bad or good happens. We'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. So I will leave that up to you guys. Um, I do have some food that I could contribute <clears throat> to it, but I also think it might be worthwhile for me to just put it in our food stockpile. Um, but as we get to me, I'll let you guys decide. Yeah. Um, all right. So now we roll our dice. All right. And put them, they go into your unused dice pile. Ooh. I got a six, so I'm going to be able to at least once kill. Two. kill. Well, I can only do it once per yeah. round. Oh, so I meant you can um, at least kill two. But I can kill, yep, I can kill six, two without six, having two. to do it, and then t- possibly two more, so. Yeah. Hopefully I don't die when I do that, but. Yes. I'll be going last, which is perfect, because if you guys get out of there and I do go roll. Second. Why would I go second? Two, oh, it goes clockwise. Derp. Yeah, sorry. I don't know why I'm always dyslexic when it comes to that. <laughs> I did it backwards when we introduced our stuff, too, mm-hmm. didn't I? Yep, that's great. Um, <laughs> well, that sucks, though, because if I do that and I get bit, you know what? I'll just kill the two. Well, the thing, it, then... the thing is, is, if you get... Oh, you guys love time to move, by the book because yeah. we're going to do multiple times. I'll tell anyway. you what. If you get injured, I can at least heal you. Yeah, I'm just worried that if I get bit, it kills the next yeah. person, so that could cause a chain reaction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 
so I don't know if I should kill more than the two. I probably should because we're overrun and we will become overrun. And, and unless the majority of us, me. yeah, unless everyone leaves but certain people, yeah, we. Oh, everyone I, oh, but you know the person who doesn't draw zombies <laughs> when he's here. I can throw up one barricade, which will help. Yeah. So if I kill two, throw up a barricade. <clears throat> still could be bad. So actually, because it, it, it looks like Mo, both of his people. Well, he's the that one won't. Okay, so how does attacking work again? You have Do to you have. Just spend the die? You spend your combat and you attack and then you roll the exposure yeah. die and hope higher than what the number happens. is on the attack. So two or higher for your yeah mall. So yeah. Mm. Yep, and then you can kill, kill zombie. Just pick one and goes off the board. Goes to, yep. you can just give it to Aaron or, or put it on the yeah, side. Yeah, it would be easier yeah. over here because yeah, yeah. can just put them there. Also, <laughs> it looks cool. It's like anyway. a track. Mm -hmm. um, and then you got to roll this. I have bad luck with this one. <laughs> I have bad luck with it every time. Oh, you're wounded. That's not bad. That's not as bad. Here you go. It's a regular wound. You can have up to three wounds before your character dies. Um. All right. And I can you attack more than once? Yes, yeah. Can. Absolutely. Okay. Zombie because they automatically die. Mm -hmm. It was going to be blank. <laughs> I know. It would have been blank. I think we should count it. Yeah. Yeah. Blank. <laughs> Are you sure you want to move them from the end though? Because they fill in the front first. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It is, if there's they no go fill spot to go to where yeah, the next spot really is. Yeah. No, that's not exactly how it works. They go in the order. So if they're scheduled to go to one, that one will overrun immediately. Two will overrun. No, no, that's not how it works. No. no, that's exactly how it works. They always go to one first. That's why they're numbered. So if one, if those aren't cleared... If that's how it works, we never played it right ever. No, we've always done it this way. Trust me. I know this. I'm doing this from memory. And I can look it up if you want me to. But they, everything fills the order. That's why I had you fill it the way I did. Everything goes in the order. So if we're going to get two zombies, for example, they'll go to one and then two and then nowhere else. That's why we built, remember we used to always put the barricades in the first three all the time. Um, because those are the ones that tend to end up filling the most because of the amount of people well, we they, have. Well, they fill in order, but my understanding is that we don't get overrun until there's no place at Each all Each entrance can be overrun one at a time. You do them one at a time. Really? Yes, that's exactly how we do it. That's why we always put the barricades in the front. Maybe we've just never been in a position to be overrun like that before. Maybe well, know. usually because we have barricades there, and the barricades just blow up. Right. But, but. but the way it works is, and I'll double check to make sure I'm not remembering incorrectly, but this is, I mean, I've played uh, this game like five times, so I'm pretty sure I've got this one. But let's double check to make sure that I'm not crazy. Last if I can find it. Uh, I'm going to move to Ah, here we go. When adding zombies to the colony, always place the first zombie in any empty space and entrance one, second zombie in any space and entrance store. two. Yep. So uh, the third, the oh, hang on, guys. Yep. The third zombie on any empty space and entrance, etc. Until all the zombies that need to be added have been placed. When adding a seventh zombie, you go back to one and two, etc. If there are no empty entrance spaces in the entrance, the zombie would be placed. But there's a barricade token. The barricade gets destroyed, and you remove the zombie. If there are no empty spaces and no barricade tokens, that entrance has been overrun. Remove the zombie and kill the survivor at the colony that has the lowest. So it literally each entrance you have to be you have to be careful about each entrance, mm -hmm. which makes sense. If you watch Walking Dead, if like one doorway, yeah, it makes it makes sense. Um, but that's, just, that is how we played it. I okay. we've never had more I, than a couple games where they've think, had that many zombies I've, I don't at think once I've at ever the start. Seen us overrun them. It's actually one way you can tell if somebody's either new to the game or a betrayer because a betrayer will try to pull kind of from different things saying, well, mm -hmm. somebody else is going to knock out the first ones anyway, so I should take those out. Like, mm -hmm. um, And then to try to seed or create an overrun. Mm -hmm. Because each section overruns one at a time. Sure, it's a little bit different from here, though. What we have been doing wrong here, though, which I didn't realize is, you know how normally with zombies, when you add it, you add one for every two adventures, and we did the same thing here? It's one per... No, it's we've done one per Have we done one per? Okay. I couldn't remember because I was like, wait a minute, did we no, do yeah, that right? No, yeah, no, no. We've been doing these ones right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, we have been doing um. the stores right. I do remember that. It's your turn, though. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, so, no. Um... Now this goes to you, and you yep. see if the conditions are met. No. For was someone supposed card. to do that for me first, or no? I don't believe... Ian was supposed to yeah. do Oh, so give that to him and, and, and see if it fulfilled B. before. Yeah. If anyone uh, fulfilled. Do you control Ashley or Ashley Ross? No, I do. <laughs> so that technically would have worked for me, but that's that's the yeah. one that. Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I don't think. Yeah, this goes the bottom. Could... That's the discard. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is. Hmm. I'm going 
to do the two that I don't have to do the exposure die for. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pull... Hmm. I can put barricades down, so... I'm going to kill one of these. And then... How many people do we have in there right now? I know we won't, we're gonna we won't end up getting there, two. But... We're going to get three zombies because you're around... Oh, no, two zombies because one of his ignores... Oh, right. he's not actually on the board yet. <laughs> he's falling apart. <laughs> his feet fell off. Oh my god. <laughs> so now I'll recount. I wonder if I just keep on going this way until we get So we would have one three from... zombies right now. All right, so I'll take this one then. Because you round up. But then I'd be wasting a barricade, wouldn't I? Like if I killed off the one of them. The barricades always stay. Board. Yeah. So, I mean, well, unless could... a zombie fills in. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, yeah, unless a zombie fills in. But I mean, we could, you, could, you can always mm. build up. Yeah, I could. So, a stockpile okay. of, again, like, like this, a stockpile of barricades. Yep. All right, so... And we'll, I will have one person out of there, so technically we're only probably going to get two zombies in, inside there. Okay. Because I don't roll exposure, so... Okay, yeah, that's true. Um, all right, so I'm going to put a barricade up first just in case Ashley dies when I move her, so where do we want it, though? Do we want to put it in the first or second to start with, or do we want to start building up some barricades and work backwards? Um, um, we're only going to get three. It won't overrun. If I put one there now, it'll immediately be destroyed. We're only going to get two, because I will be moving. And Sorry. one of his ignores it. For yeah. now, just in case. Okay. Because I can, as long as she doesn't cack when I move her, I can put other ones out. Because I can only do this once per turn, but I can do it from anywhere. So, yeah. um, all right. So I'm going to move her. Which one is she? Yep, that's her. I'm going to move her to the police station and see if she lives. There's an instant death on that, isn't there? Yes, there, there? Yes, yeah. there is. <laughs> Didn't roll it, thank God. That's why Sparky is amazing because he ignores the insta death. This one, you draw two and pick one, right? No. No, you draw, draw one and then, then you can make noise unless you have a mm. special search function. I think I'm going to keep this. So you're spending your five die? Yes. Yep. Um, and then. I can potentially kill another zombie, but there's a lot of people there. If, uh, you could spend the die just to, to make a barricade. That's what I was thinking of yeah. doing. Um, so I could put another barricade out. Put it in two. Um, do you want me to put it in two or do you want me to put it? Because it'll blow up immediately. Yeah, but the zombie up. won't show up. The zombie just won't show up. That's true. It'll keep the area empty. Hmm. We can always, if someone has it jump dice. Hurt. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, do it all right. Later, but we'll stick it in one or two. It's one, one less one. zombie we have to kill next yeah. turn. Yeah, and I can keep on sweeping if I keep a soldier in there. So. Yes. Um, yeah, that's probably a good idea to do it that way. And I don't... Oh, the other thing I want to do... <sighs> Unless you just drew a card and go in there, and then you can't put any starter cards in there. Nope, I'm not looking to do that. Um, I, I have food that I can contribute to the colony, oh, yeah, yeah, or yeah. I can contribute to the crisis. That's why I'm trying to figure out, have we decided what we want to do with that? Just well, how much food do we food. need? How much food do we need to feed us? It depends on how many people are going to stay there. Well, do we know? Because it's one can of food for every two people. I don't count, and Loretta may or may not stay, so we'll plan on her staying. So at this point, we have how many? So I won't be. He won't be there. So you won't have to count him. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. We have to count it as six. So we're going to need three. Because you have to round up. It's for every two rounded up. Don't have one of them because I don't count. One of his characters don't count. Oh, have okay. One. Sorry, I thought you were so, two so two cans. So. Well, it's all, all right. So we need two. two. Well, and if I, I, I put I'm two going in there. to put two in automatically with his cook. Okay. With my cook. So so we, we can want put to go against the crisis. The crisis. Okay. What does the, what does the crisis give us? Anything? It gives no, us morale. No, we take all. The, no, only oh, no, if, we yes. do, if we do yes. six. It if prevents we put us six from losing morale. Mm -hmm. Nope, it doesn't even do that. If we fail, you take all the food cards that were removed from the game and you place them into the waste pile. And if we succeed, we oh, lose, lose morale. morale. Yeah, that's true. You do. That's what I'm Sorry. saying. We don't lose no. morale. No, I was, thinking, I was thinking it was easy because yeah. there's nothing yeah. taken from the game, but I just realized it does say we lose morale. I thought we would lose morale from... No, no. Because we've had that start, crisis before honestly, we ended up with a ton of trash. It's just one morale, right? Yeah, it's just one morale. Yeah, we only start with six, though. And it goes fast. Well, it can go fast. It can go fast. If fast. people die, it goes but fast. But here, here's the thing. That's six food that we're going to waste on round it's, one. If it's we four. Even have it's it. four food. I can four put three food. in one turn. I can literally it's, put three right now. Right, but then we have to find more. Like We will find more. I can contribute. If she wants to put, if she can put three in, I can put one in. But okay. I mean, it's 
do we want to use it on this one, or do we want to use it on probably the next one that we're going to get? If we're automatically losing a morale for this one, because there are some cards where you don't lose morale, as oh, long wait, as you're you not getting hit by something station? else. Yeah. Actually, are you think. kidding me? You actually did. <laughs> well, before we do yeah. that, let's finish uh, this part. Um, out of all the places. I was like, <laughs> well, no, that, that triggers the moment you go. You yeah. All right. Well, I just figured we'd decide this and then... then well, yeah, well, if it's it, applicable, you know what I mean. Just since we're but it may matter. Special. You already but, you did a search, so yeah, I have yeah, to use it. It has to trigger before you put the right. that barricade up. Well, yeah. no, I know that, but <laughs> you knew better than to go down into the morgue. But you figure it's the <laughs> one place that's been searched the least. But once you find yourself downstairs in the darkness, you are so overcome with fear that you only have enough willpower to look in either the refrigerator or the chemical vat. Um, option one. Wait, am I supposed to be <laughs> the options? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? You get what I'm. I, mm -hmm. Why is the morgue at the police station and not the hospital? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, there's a, there's a medical examiner. I, I Why do zombies exist? Let's right. just ask that question. Maybe should be the hospital. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that is weird. That is weird. <laughs> Option one, you open the refrigerator and let out a shrill scream. A severed head springs to life, gnashing its teeth at you. You right. flee in terror, knocking over shelves and God knows what else. Fill the police station with noise tokens. Wow. Option two, you lift the lid on the chemical vat and let out a shell scream. <laughs> <laughs> it's a severed head. <laughs> you flee your terror, knocking over shelves and God knows what else. Fill the police station with noise tokens. Man, didn't don't you hate it in life when a choice turns out to not be a choice? It's the same so, thing. There is no choice. <laughs> so I'm just either way, either, either, <laughs> way, yeah, either way, you're getting ahead. <laughs> And making a lot of noise. <laughs> oh my gosh. And potentially dying at right. the end of this See, turn. Yeah. Nobody come here. <laughs> no one. Yeah. Why did you because we're going to get one station? and potentially four more. Yep. <laughs> Don't come to the police station. I'm not. Not anymore. Because <laughs> Ashley is screwed up right now. <laughs> and I'm, you know what? I'm going to put three food in here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's ultimately my well, choice. So yes. I'm do it. Yes. And <laughs> considering okay. that there's a chance we're going to lose our morale the moment you yep. die. Less of a decision at that <laughs> yes, point because is. I have a feeling I'm going to die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe I did manage to roll at least one thing <clears throat> under a three, so mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe when I roll for that, I won't kill myself. <clears throat> uh, distinct, is this for what? <laughs> I have a feeling Ashley's not going to be long for this world. So I put that food in that thing because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, did. <laughs> That's awful. Dear Lord. Okay. The exact same text. Oh, mom. right. I, I love those. It's like, don't you hate it when, when, da, da, da. Yeah, when there's not an actual food. Okay. Um, I thought it was the yawn one when you didn't, like, say anything. So I was, like, trying no, not to I yawn. Just, I over, I that was funny. I, I, I do that and Ashley freaking every time. Yep. Like, she yawns constantly. No, I remember that there's a yawn. Oh, and it triggers. So no matter who yawns, it triggers. No yawning. All right, you're good for now. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. But uh, let's see. I think it's probably going to be hilarious if you fulfill the thing just because of the name of the card. Hmm. I will be going to... I'm going to go to the library. So don't go off. All right. So I will spend <laughs> die to search the library. The card is called Voyeur. <laughs> you have to go somewhere where someone else is there and they're, you're the only two people. Yeah. And then apparently you're like some stalker freak. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fun to go to the police station. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the grocery store. I'm going to use... His oh, power to like your screams. <laughs> that was a really funny card. <laughs> that card was very funny. I don't think we've ever gotten that one either. No, that's that's new for me. <laughs> I either get a live snapping head or a formaldehyde head. Either way, I freak out. Wouldn't you, though? <laughs> if you're just in the police station, you don't expect to find severed heads in the police station. Right. Maybe some drugs, some guns, <laughs> clothing with blood on it. Yeah, that all makes sense, jewelry. You know what I think to find freaking heads or a morgue. Up <laughs> uh, yeah. at that police station. This is basically nice. Silent Hill's police station. Yeah. They should have undead canine units. So I'm pretty there. sure that Silent Hill has a morgue and or a hospital in every location, including the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you can find a house downstairs as a morgue. <laughs> I'll give you this if you guarantee me that she will stay in the colony at all times. Because <laughs> um, it's their book. <laughs> I, it, I wasn't planning on it, but I will for that. Yeah, I will give you the book. Okay. Because <laughs> it's once per turn. As long as she stays in the colony, she just generates food. All right. Well, Ooh. she's gonna stay in the colony then. We're good. So she'll generate at least one food, regardless if you got the dot. That's her. fine. All That's right. nice. That's awesome. We're good on food. <laughs> and I will put one can 
I'm saying I'm at least putting a can in there. Yeah. Which is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Does that I, be true? I will Hopefully not, it's true. <laughs> I will not give us any outsiders. <laughs> not yet. <coughs> yeah, we'll not probably... Either. We'll probably be able to handle some eventually. I mean, the soldier might move someday if he can freaking get... He probably should, never should. <coughs> no, he probably he should. He probably should. As long, unless my dash will suck. Yeah. In which case, I could risk moving, but that's still risky. Uh, so here's my. Uh, you're, are you still? You're done. No, I'm done. Okay. So, so, yeah. So you can put. You already put yours. I did. Yeah, because okay. it wouldn't have triggered. I need to check something. Okay. Moving into the colony doesn't have an right. exposure roll, or does it? So, uh, it I've does, got. Does. Every time you move anywhere. Right? So I've got a question. <clears throat> I mean, I, I know. Well, I'm going to do this because I know that I'm doing that. So that I'm going to put two food tokens in the. Oh yeah. I mean, technically, it actually. Uh, I'm thinking of a character. Adds three because of the. Three of them? Sweet. The cookbook. We got some foods. Um, Did I knock a nose, to- nose token into the food? That's gross. There's nose earwax token. in the food. Um, <laughs> and then these right. ones are the starvation. So the question ones. is, do I try and kill a zombie and then go search, or do I just go and search? <clears throat> do you right. have the ability to do it without ha- having... I don't have the ability to, to do it without rolling exp- exposure either way, so it doesn't really matter. It's risky, but it's up to you. I did it, so... So my, my question is... Do, are With we, so are many we, zombies, it doesn't hurt <clears throat> to do it. Yeah, it doesn't hurt, but we we, we will not be attracting enough to yeah. cause any issues. This and I'll right be able now. to kill two as long as I roll <clears throat> at least a five yeah, right on three dice. I'll be able to kill two yeah. without having to roll for exposure next turn. Then I think and I'm two just zombies gonna, I think aren't going to go then. Okay. So okay. nice. Alright, so I'm going to the hospital and I'm going to search. Um, can I just do both dice because I'm searching both? Yeah, if you're doing, if you're yeah. doing two searches. Yeah. I just do one. So one. Okay. I just realized I spent a die when I didn't need to. Yes, but you didn't. You could. Oh, well, yeah. I could have searched. You couldn't search. You don't have a high enough die. Your die was a one. But you can use it to put a barricade up. Yeah, you could have put a barricade in here, though. You could do that. Yeah, so I put it number one. Yeah, then we don't get any zombies. <clears throat> yeah. And if I can knock them down enough, we'll put the barricades on. Hopefully, some of them will stay. How many do we need? Just two. We can do that towards the end of the game, though. Yeah, we need two tools, two. Two food tokens. Yeah, there must be at least one barricade in each colony entrance. So that's not. That's not too hard. If we can clear these guys out, that's <clears> not terrible. And hopefully, I get enough good die rolls where we can. And with me searching the library, eventually I'll find that barricade. Book. Should I contribute oh, some one just in case? To if the you thing, think if that you trust Aaron, if then you I think wouldn't. me or Sarah is a traitor, then. I, you know in, what? I but... wouldn't because if either of us is a traitor, it's going to get revealed very quickly. Because <laughs> I put three in and he put one, so yeah. it might be worth it not to. <laughs> yeah, because you have to look at. Although, it this... if you're the betrayer and you want to confuse people, you can be like, "Well, you, really you have to look at it this way, though. <laughs> it was guaranteed to fail unless someone else put one in. Yeah, me putting one in. If it was going to fail regardless. Yep. Why would the traitor waste a card? That's what I'm saying. I, I mean, yeah. there's different reasons why, <clears throat> yeah. but I'm I'm pretty sure we're good. Unless, of course, we were going for the bonus. If we were going yeah. for the bonus, then maybe one of us could be the traitor. Yeah, we're trying to do something. But that's true. Which we technically <clears throat> weren't. No, that's why. In stockpile, we have the ability to eventually get more dice. Or... Yes. Yes. When you get Every more time, survivors. Yeah. Oh, you, okay. The number of dice you have <clears throat> is equal to your number of survivors plus one. And okay. I think there are some there is some equipment that gives you extra dice. Yes. Well. I think like the goggles or something. Mm-hmm. There's a couple that do. Yeah, yeah and the, since we didn't have the food, that's why I didn't use any of my outsiders I drew. Mm. Yeah. You can put more food into the supply if you want, because we don't have anything in waste yet, so we don't have to worry about cleanup. And the food won't go away. It'll stay there from turn to turn until we eat it. True. Yeah, why not? Um, just debating on whether or not I want to do something else. Okay. Probably shouldn't yet, huh? No, that's why I didn't do it. Well, I'm trying to think. We have plenty of food, so even if we add... If you add one, we're using three cans. Right. If you don't add, we're only using two cans. Yeah, I'll wait. All right, uh, (laughs) so that's it. All right. So, Uh, resolve... Stuff. I think we do. We pay our food, yep. mm-hmm. so we only need to pay two. Yep. yep. Two cans. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we check waste. Not There's the one. <laughs> we resolve the crisis, and then we will add some zombies. 
So as we resolve the crisis, I, this will be so trouble. Yep, so we've got food. Why would you waste food? food. What's the benefit to that? What are we doing? For, we're not wasting food. We're using... We're Anytime we're, you play a card, it has to go in the waste. Because oh. it's the trash. So basically the empty cans and stuff from yeah, the food we just Yeah, you have to eventually clean out the trash. <laughs> like, why are you wasting food? <laughs> we're not. <laughs> for food. Yep, so have no morale You're loss. good. And this gets taken out of the game. <clears throat> Can I just put it on your side for now? Does it actually like, get taken out of the game, or does it go in the waste pile? Uh, crisis doesn't go in the okay. waste. No, only cards we play... Uh, it just gets taken out of the game. That's why that's that, why the waste it, not if it comes up later. It, it really it hurts, hurts you. Yeah. I've had it happen. It was painful. Oh yeah, correct. Oh, these are my uh, okay, so we're good. We don't get any morale because we didn't go above it, but yeah. we didn't fail it either, so we didn't lose any morale, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Um and it's a good and then, thing no one did what the crossroad trigger was. Because <laughs> you would have lost a survivor. Yeah. Yep. Um What was the trigger? Rolling to oh. die off the table. Ah. Oh jeez. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, so now we add zombies, so That's those two great to barricade. To the barricade. Well, no, it, I think it's three. Do we have, how many Thank survivors you. do we have in town? It's not a die. <laughs> We've only got four in town? I thought we had five. No. Four. Oh, okay, then we take two. Yeah. Uh, to the barricades. Those two. Yep. That one, and yeah, we'll let you. Option one <laughs> is, um... And then I need one of those zombies, please, because it's definitely off. coming to my place. Option two is, you roll a die, one, it takes... And then damage. Then All right, whatever the result is, it takes it. It takes damage. And then one goes to the library. <laughs> uh, and one goes to the hospital. Now I have to roll and see how many more zombies show up. None. Thank you. Thank you. He's not dead. Uh, one. Right, no, it's three. No, wait a minute. I think three or lower, I think. I think one just popped, actually. Yeah. Sorry. So one popped and then one didn't. Yeah, the noise tokens, it's, <clears throat> it's three or lower. Is. Yeah, so one popped, one didn't. Yes. And no. Okay. So that's awful, but not <clears throat> as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, no, nowhere near as bad as you thought it was. <laughs> well, actually, we'll keep some bad. of these up here. because we. Oh, got, yeah, because you've got... We've yeah. got locations in front of us. Yep. So the police station got messy. Yeah. Yay. That's what you get for going into the morgue that they keep. <laughs> <laughs> That's so messed up. <laughs> uh, okay, so scream so loud. So track track yeah. Down. Yeah, the first player token moves to the next player. Yep. And then we start again with the rolls. Hmm. Not bad. That's a five. I do. <coughs> That's a three, four, five. I have a four, five, six. Uh, oh, not good. I can't even search with her. I can only search with him. Mm. Hmm. Nobody's at school yet. No. We need medicine, tools, and gas. Gas. Um, we can't use. And food. All right. We need. We need. Two oh, we need to reveal the news question. Actually, yeah. I've got a question. What? I don't think I should have a zombie. What do you mean? He doesn't count when it, when it comes to placing zombies. Oh, it's right. Oh, so so he doesn't actually generate zombies. Sweet. Yes. He doesn't generate zombies. All right, here we go. Another food <clears throat> one. Full food spoilage. We need four food. Fail. Until the end of the next round, non-exiled players cannot use food tokens to increase their action dice result, and you lose one morale. Um, mm -hmm. And then it's got the... The loss of morale is the worst part of it. Well, all of them make you lose morale when you fail. All I think there's some that you don't. No, they all do. Oh. They all do. <laughs> um. There's some how that do you, you... How do you avoid it? You have to you do four more, food. more food into the uh, cards, not... Yeah, I have no... Can't. No. Um, all right, so we need gas, we need... Okay. All right, so I'm going to mm. kill two zombies. I'm just going to kill them one and two. Okay. Um, I'm going to, since she doesn't need an action die to place a barricade, I'll place one now, just in case mm -hmm. she dies when I try to fight some of the zombies. Yeah, um, makes sense. I'm going to place it down mm -hmm. here, just for now, because I haven't really cleared yep. anything out of here yet. That's fine. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Because if I move him... Hmm. I can move him back. Alright, this is, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend one fuel because I have another one if we need it for a okay. crisis so that I can go to the gas station. That's kind of ironic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> spend a fuel to send the soldier to the gas station. Okay. <clears throat> because he can actually search. Um, oh, but she has to kill at least one of those. 
she's well unless you make noise she doesn't have to kill one this turn she's not overrun until the next turn after mm, yeah that's true so I can technically start <clears throat> twice with him and do nothing with her other than that barricade yeah. or but if somebody shows up there that could be bad for me uh, I don't think anyone's gonna unless if they're going there they're going there to kill stuff I'm assuming yeah I don't think we're going to go to the police station and not kill something if we're going there at All this right. point. Well, let me search once and see what his result is. Because yep. if it's crap, then I'll search again. So, have power card, cost. Please? Gas station. Oh, did, oh, by the way, did you do the no, password for me? Not. Give me that before I look at this. Okay. So far, I've killed two zombies and I've moved to the gas station. No. Okay. <clears throat> I, got, I spent a fuel to get fuel. Well, that one can be used for that. Well, you did go to the Ooh, gas that's station. That's a good idea. I'll do it now. Hmm? To get one. Yeah, at least that one can be used for. Yeah, I'm assuming that one is. Like, yeah, you don't have to you hide have, it. That you have to show it. Yeah, has yeah. to be shown because you. And that way you keep track because you can yeah. look at it at any time. Yeah. So we've got one of the two. What we need? Two gas. Two, 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 two gas of parts. every every type. Yeah. Except for weapons, we just need two of the yeah. basic stuff. Um. All right. I. Yeah, that'd be great. Stockpile two <laughs> weapons. <laughs> but like, why do we need these? No. All right, I'm gonna try it again. I'll search again. We're set on fuel. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that's out of the way. So we just need tools and food. Yep. And that is my turn. I can't do anything else. All right. I will. S uh. Yep. I'll wait for you to draw. <clears throat> okay. Hang on. Okay. I will search the library. And I have the blueprints for the library, so I draw two cards and keep two cards. Nice. Alright. <laughs> I will keep the the journey of Jazzercise. I remember when you gave that to the dog. I gave the dog out. <laughs> it was so funny. He had a jazzer size. I'm, dog. I'm giving him the ability that he already has. Mm -hmm. He needs it. Look at how punchy he is. Mm. <laughs> he needs the jazzer size. He's like, no, look at that. Poor guy. Hey, what you doing, huh? Just scratching. Or she's, needing. Yeah, she's doing that because she wants, she wants some attention. She won't take it for long because she's. Yeah, dead. I was gonna say I can't really get. To pet <laughs> but even her. if you can, she doesn't like to stand still yeah. when she's being pet. She likes to walk all over creation, and then you have to follow her. Mm -hmm. Come here, honey. She plays hard to it's get. Like Aww, she's bunting on your foot and your leg. Um, I'll doing. move him <laughs> to the gas station. That's my purse. And things happen. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're walking along the outskirts of the colony when you hear a familiar rapid pops of an automatic rifle in the, in the near distance. You assume someone from the colony must be in trouble and run towards the sound. Instead, you find a tall, scraggly man blowing holes through a mass of undead. He swings his gun on you as you arrive, and your hands fly up. I'm alive, you shout. Don't shoot. You have two options, of course. Uh, just take it. I don't want any trouble. Choose a card at random from your hand. Remove it from the game. Or option two, we could use a man like you in our group, you say. I wouldn't mind having some others watching my back. Uh, my crew's all dead. Hey. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, the stranger That's said that. That's a stranger, I think. So. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> but here's the thing. I don't follow orders so good. If you want my aid, then we follow my rules. Search the survivor deck for Greybeard and make him your group leader and place this card under him. Once per round, Greybeard doesn't have to roll for exposure when attacking. As long as you control Greybeard, you cannot add cards to a crisis, though. You can still add stuff to here, though, so that yeah. almost frees up your decision as to where it goes if you have him. So he doesn't have to roll for exposure when attacking. Yeah, once per round. Once per round. He becomes your group leader. Yeah, becomes my group leader. But he, I can no longer contribute to the crisis. Crisis. Yep. I guess it's only if you have this card, though, because yeah, that's it, why you have to put it up <clears> there so you know. Yeah. Do you want to look at him first? Yeah, I'll look, I'll look at Because you are first. sizing him up. He did just shoot at you. Oh, he hasn't shot me yet. He sort of almost shot at you. He, he turned his gun on me. <laughs> I have see. a bullet wound if he shot me. Good point. Great beard. Oh, dude, he's awesome. He's like Santa Claus. Oh, it's the yes, that, uh, <laughs> Once per round, you may take a card at random from another player's hand and place it into your hand. He's a pirate. Nice. <clears throat> Oh, that's that's if he stays in the colony. 
Yeah. He basically, he goes into your stuff. You're like, I'm going to go protect the colony. And he's like, no problem, I'll watch your things. <laughs> <laughs> it's a catch-22. It, it almost might be worth it just for the extra stats and the extra dice. Especially since we need to go to here. It just means we'll probably count on you for that so for a while. As opposed that just to... means that any, if you find food, don't you just use it for any any. I've just got I've got. Believe me or not, I've got books, food, and medicine. So we can use the food for this while you use it for that. Well, I can't can use, use the food for that for the supply. Well, yeah, you can't. I can use it for you, supply, just can't, yes. you can't contribute can't, to yes. the crisis. So just, I cannot help you with any more. If I take him, I can't help you with the crisis anymore. Right, but you can help us with food, and you can put yes. your stuff in here. So if we get there. medicine and things, we'll contribute it to the crisis. Okay. While you take care of the stockpile with, really... with a pirate. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll take him with his sixteen as my new combat. <laughs> Freaking new leader. <laughs> <laughs>